there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com with match number four with the Black Green Delirium. Or why do I keep calling it Black Green Delirium? Because we just played against that match. Black Green Fabricate uh, slash Black Green Tokens, uh, Black Green Westville Abbey. So this is a wonderful hand. We do have the tap lands that are very awkward, but it is two sifters of La uh, of Adam Pariah, um, and this is good versus like yeah white. It's good versus white blue. Which is what I think my opponent's on. Uh, which is the Plains, no first turn play. It is the by far the most played deck. That Blooming Marsh now has to come in to play tap, that one. So it is awkward. The meta base is awkward. I think I have to go Aether Hubs. Because we have a lot of doubles. And the fixing is very necessary. So there's a Copter, so we need to grasp the Copter. So it's going to be Blooming Marsh next turn. Which I don't like to play. That means the Foul Orchard will come in to play tapped. So... I think it's worthwhile to kill his copter rather than go my copter. No, I actually think it's my copter. Because this rule, this he's actually going to have to just cast a reflector mage here. Or a selfless spirit. Or, or he can do selfless spirit. But it's either like a reflector mage or a spell queller a lot of times has to happen. So he's just going to leave up a spell queller. So we're going to do neither. Because he's got, again, he's got like a Reflector Mage. Um, and I don't want any of this to be Spell Quellered. So I actually probably should have played the, the Foul Orchard there. So I'm just going to pass. I guess I should have, I could have activated my Hissing Quagmire. I want him to make the move. Uh, four mana, you can't really do anything. Oh, no, I can't activate this in Quagmire and attack. Yeah, the spell core is in his hand. It's absolutely in his hand. There's no other reason why he wouldn't play it. So we're just going to, as long as we're going land go, I think we're okay. The problem is now he has Archangel. He might get frustrated here and just go Reflector Mage. Selfless Spirit. This is awkward because now he can he can actually um, whoops spell queller this but now we can like we can we can get definitely guarantee a Catacomb Sifter, which is incredibly powerful. And if we actually draw into a land, we can go a Pariah here. Huh. Wrong land. Well, we'll still play another Foul Orchard. Get a Sifter. And we'll leave it back. I think it's worthwhile to leave it back. Actually, you know what? I should have attacked in. That was a mistake. Hopefully he doesn't have an answer for this. I'm thinking Archangel Avison is going to come down right here. Discards a Selfless Spirit. We'll block. This is probably actually the worst card here. And there's Avison. So it keeps his Grass of Darkness definitely wants to go on top. Yeah, that was that's awesome actually. Yeah, we're very far ahead now because we kill both of these guys. And we get a, a Catacomb Sifter. I'm going to do it right now before he has any chance to respond to it. So we Grass of Darkness the Spell Queller. And now we get the Archangel Avacyn. 
and then we can cast the uh, Catacomb Sifter and attack in for three. Now I'm wishing I would have kept the Nissa. Oh, uh, then we have a really good line of play. Hope it just goes like Gideon next turn. Or just main phase in Archangel Avacyn. That's nice of you. Oh, absolutely. So he's going to go for the beatdown. But it's probably worth it, worthwhile just to get the Vodal and Pariah off. And he'll just have... Oh, he's going to flip the Archangel Avacyn. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's actually pretty decent. We're going to put a Nissa on the bottom. Put a we want another grasp if possible. All right, so we have one draw to draw into a, a no grass doesn't hit fast enough. Put a pry on bottom and a Westville Abbey actually can go on top. Wait, we just die here unless I go down Pariah. Oh, that is just gross. Yeah, because it's exactly nine damage. So the set, the double Avison gets us. Possibly I should just grasp that Avison. I don't know if it's worthwhile just to cast the Vidal and Pariah to show him. I just think this is game. Yeah, no matter what I do. All right, we'll go on to the sideboard because we could block for one turn and then probably not really have anything. So this one, with Runa's Path is specifically in this matchup uh, for the Pariahs, or excuse me, for the Gideons. Nissa comes out. Pariahs are actually good in this one. Natural State's actually good in this too. Because they have debt they have um stasis snares. I actually do like Kalatos and transgresses. So the things I don't like like is blister paws. I actually don't like Zulaport Cutthroats in this matchup. I think they're just too slow. A one of Crypto Thrite can come out. And usually, like, I think this is where the Marriott Masters are weak again in this matchup. I know I take them out a lot. I like them in the main, and then they usually go out sideboard every game. Uh, Lost Legacy, a one of can come in for like Avacyn. I think that's fine. And we'll keep this. So we'll see how well, hopefully we see a Liliana in this matchup. You might flash, this is pretty, I still think this is in the advantage of the black green. Um, I've played this matchup probably more than any matchup and I know I'm ahead. And, but I do lose to this often. This, that was a spell queller. He had a very nice curve with with copters, spell queller, selfless spirit, Avacyn, Avacyn, um, which is and oh, two selfless spirits, right? So that was a a pretty decent draw by our opponent. I mean, it's pretty much ideal. I don't think you can you can ask for a better amount of cards there. This is very good. This is an incredibly good hand. It's going to be Crypt with right here, just because that's a card we do not want countered. Best case scenario is he puts out a self of Spirit, and then we can go Liliana. So, I think the right play actually would be Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Yeah, absolutely Weaponcraft Enthusiast here. I was going to say Liliana, but Weaponcraft is actually better. 
Because now he is really behind. She's going to reflect her mage's servo. No, uh, Thalia. And Thalia is terrible here. I don't know if I even care about Thalia. Um, I want some more information. We're going to transgress. Gisela, Gisela, Gideon, Spell Queller, Spell Queller, Declaration, and Stone. Jeez. All of these are pretty tough. It's Gideon we take. All right, so I think just keeping Thalia down is a better way. It is just going to pass. So that's definitely okay with us. Yeah, I can play this game. I can definitely play this game. If he wants to keep up Spell Queller. Uh, because we don't want to go Weapon Craft Enthusiast. Or do we? No, because he's Declaration of Stone. So we'll just make some Westvale Abbey tokens. I'm actually going to kill it. Because he wants to pressure Liliana. That's his game plan. And he misses a land drop. He has that other spell queller, which is super annoying. Pry is huge here. Uh, because now we can build out on Pariah. So now if he spell quellers, well, we will activate it because we're one off from the Liana ult. That did come into play tapped. All right. So now he's got to decide what he wants to do. Declaration of Stone or Bruna. He needs to go Bruna here. He does have the deck in stone, so we have to worry about the deck in stone. I think I'm going to go for the, the damage here. He has to attack into Liliana. But we're going to get close to Westvale. I still think he needs a Declaration of Stone. And that gives us the Westvale. Um... Outlet. Do you have Avacyn in hand? Remember, look, lookout's terrible. He's got to have Avacyn in hand. So unfortunately, Liliana does not. 
Yeah, I just have to pass turn. Doesn't cast Avacyn. So here's the... Do I go for Westville Abbey? I really think I do here. He'd have to have another declaration in stone. Let's actually keep up a mana here. So green. And I want to get this, this Abolisher back. Black. Well, that does it. Reflector Mage. Gives me my Westville Abbey back. And now I can attack in with the Gisela. Into Liliana. Which I think I need to get the Praia back and then cast it. He still has the deck in stone though. So we don't need Westville out quite yet. So either way, Liliana's dead. Oh, that's just... I can't believe he outdrew here. Um... Maybe I played that incorrectly. Yeah, I should just let that happen, I think. I gave him the Reflector Mage. So my best way to get out of this now is to go for the Westville Abbey again. So unfortunately, Liliana, I just think, needs to die. Because we didn't draw anything. We didn't draw any decent cards here. So I think Catacomb Sifter is actually better. No, it's still going to be the Weapon Craft Enthusiast. Over the Pariah. Because this gets us closer to the... Westville Abbey again. But the Natural Satan up being so dead in this match, like, right now. Uh, he's got another Gisela... One more spell claw, right? No, he's not. He's got unknowns. A bunch of unknowns in his hand. So Giselle does kill off the Lily. And I got so many grass in this. Or ruinous pack uh, grasps. We have a lot of ways to draw out of this. We have a lot of land still left. Like another pry would be great. There goes Liliana. That was an underwhelming card. Guess I should have been more aggressive. Inspector. Well, we get a transgress. That was a good good card to draw into because hopefully it gets rid of anything out of our opponent's hand. See if his spell claw just comes down. So if there was an Avacyn, ugh, yuck. Triple Spell Queller. Of course. You know, out of, out of 16 cards, you got to draw three out of your, your four. Um, unfortunately, I think we're just going to get, get beat down now. We are completely out of cards. So Avacyn's probably in his hand. He's got one Gisela. So he cracks the clue. And Thalia. Another Thalia. Huh. We'll kill the Inspector. Do I want to? Because the Westville Abbey is going to come into play tapped. I honestly don't think there's any way. Yeah, we have to kill the Inspector because I think that's a way... That we, we come back in this. We need a pry off the top. Yeah, I should have. Night Market Lookout's horrid. 
Well, and we can't even Westvale. One, two, three, four, five. Block in Westvale. No, we just die. Because he's got... No, he doesn't. I thought he had another flyer there. So if he's got another Reflector Mage, it's just, we're just toast. So block, block, block. So I guess, yeah, I guess Or Ormondal would have entered untapped. We would have been okay. We could have killed the Spell Queller. I guess it untaps it, yeah, because it enters then untaps. But I don't think there's anything. Yeah, we'd have to draw right there. We would have to draw like a Grasp. No, a Grasp wouldn't even do it. Because Catacomb Sifter is not going to be able to, and that's game. Yeah, again, this usually this is a pretty easy matchup. The triple spell color, double declaration in stone, double Thalia, Reflector Mage, again, a nice curve with the dead card of natural state, and it couldn't draw into anything at the end there. Maybe the Vidal and Pariah was a, a bit of an overreaction, but it got rid of a spell color and a Thalia, which I think was worth it. Um, anyway. So, so far, not so good. Two and two. We'll go on to our last match. This is Kevin with, Gather with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.